St Andrews has a long musical tradition, but until now, in all its 600 years of history, the university has never had a space purpose-built for music. Now, thanks to the Laidlaw Music Centre, that's all changed. This space is nothing short of extraordinary. This is like just about nothing else I have ever experienced. It has got such a range of possibilities for timbres and articulations. I felt as if, um, as a violinist playing in here, that I could do anything I wanted. And also it encouraged me to be more imaginative. And that's rare when you get a space that actually makes the music come out of you in a different way because it supports you so well. This will be wonderful for all sorts of people, you know, what, what, all, all sorts of levels, you know, so people who are maybe amateur will play in here, right up to the, you know, world-class musicians, but you'll feel supported and that's a wonderful thing and it actually makes you feel excited about performing music. Well the Macpherson recital room is the first recital room in the world to have a reverberation chamber and that allows you to get both clarity and reverberance in the same space. And that really puts it on the map. We took big risks here. Um, we had to make a building which was a work of architecture as well as a technical work of acoustics. We had to make um, guesses about what would work. We had to draw on the depth of our experience from all of these other projects and bring that to this project. And what I'm hearing today is the sound that's been in my head since I saw it on paper. The acoustic strategy for the room has given us the geometry of the space, the volume of the space, the way it needs to work for different uh, types of musical repertoire. Uh, and one of the things that has really struck me today hearing the room for the first time is that it's got this beautiful blend of clarity and reverberance, but it's also incredibly warm. And re really what we wanted to pick up on was we, we knew the room was gonna sound warm. Um, and the reason we've chosen to make all of the architecture of the inside of the space timber is to really kind of visually resonate with that acoustic warmth of the space. Back in 2016, two things struck us one was the amazing trees on the site. There are absolutely beautiful, mature trees all around the site. 
and then the neighboring buildings, the listed Butte building and the Regulus building. So as you look at the building from the outside, you see a simple series of uh, sandstone planes that relate to the materiality of the neighboring buildings. And our intention was to create a backdrop for the gorgeous trees that surround it. Whilst the, the, the building sits within its setting and it sits snugly between the trees, all of the architecture of the building was designed from the inside out. So the space we're in at the moment, the McPherson Recital Room, was designed as a volumetric concept before the rest of the building was designed at all. So it was then a question of working out where best to fit this on the site and then arrange the rest of the building around it. And to organize at the center of the space, a foyer, which has these gorgeous views out to the surrounding buildings and trees. But this is the key space in the building and it's all been designed around the way it's gonna sound. The concept of the moving floor is to allow you to very quickly change from rehearsal mode to performance mode, to change from a chorus rehearsal to an orchestra rehearsal, to experiment with different settings for different types, different scales of performance. These settings with audience on four sides really bring people in very, very close and trying to get that intimacy. I think there's going to be a lot of extraordinary music making going on in here. It's a jewel. St Andrews has the jewel and that's this concert hall. <laughs>